Today I'm going to show you how to work with Weka in a very simple fashion. How to look at a learner, its output, and how to experiment can compare and compare learners, compare machine learning algorithms. So first you open Weka. When you have to install it, go to the website, look for it, Weka uh, machine learning, and you will find it. Download it, run it, and this something like this will come up. You can go to these, the, this button here, Explorer. If you go to the Explorer, you open up an interface like this in which you look at the data. For example, I'm going to classify a data, a data set that I have of predictions, whether depending on what kind of issues you're interested in, you're a Republican or a Democrat at a certain, you know, certain time in U.S. history. So I'm going to go to this thing where I have uh data sets and in the data sets weka has its own format arff r files but it can also read uh, read a csv file comma separated files so i have a bunch of data sets here but i'm going to go with this issues party data set i'm going to open it and you see that uh, there's a lot of issues, handicapped infants, water project cost sharing, adoption of the budget resolution, and so on and so forth. And then the class in the end will tell you whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. You can see that. The labels for this class are Democrat, Republican. The number of Democrats is 168 in this data set. The number of Republicans is 267. So you can explore a little bit of the data here. So for example, whether you want to give aid to El Salvador, right? Let's deselect the class and select El Salvador aid, right? Democrats, uh, this is the, the, the class, right? But if I click on El Salvador aid, for example, or I don't know, immigration, right? Well, some uh, are for this issue, right? For the immigration. So for example, if I get the class and then El Salvador aid, I will see that aid to El Salvador those who want to give aid and those who do not want to give aid, right, yes and no, are about equally split between Democrats and Republicans. If I look, look at physician uh, fee freeze, right, again, the ones that say yes are less but equally split, right? If I look at another issue like immigration, right, immigration, it's pretty much much split along party lines. Democrats say yes, Republicans say no, right? So, or 260 members say yes, 212 say no, and it's all Democrats on one side. So we can see the different, we can explore the data. Now, what we can do then is go to this classify tab and use something with this data that I got, and I know the class is the last attribute here, right? With this data, can I classify correctly based on the issues? Can I classify whether someone is a Republican or a Democrat? Let's take a look. We can, for example, use trees to classify here. Here you have a menu of, of classifiers, and this is a decision tree. My method of validation is going to be a cross-fold validation with 10 folds, okay? And the class is the attribute class, but you can select if you want to classify anything else. Let's start. This was very fast, and it says that the accuracy, correctly classified instances, 96.3%, okay, with a 3%, 3.6% uh, error, okay? That's what it's saying, and you have a lot of other measures. You have a confusion matrix, you have accuracy by class, and whatnot. There's a lot of, of me measures here, <clears throat> like the F measure, precision, recall for the class Republican for Democrats and for the overall set. So you have a lot of things that you can see here. Let's look at another method here. If I go to functions and I say multi-layer perception, so a default neural network. I go with this and because neural networks have to do epochs, they have to do runs, right? It takes a little longer and I get a classification of 94.7 and an error of 5.2, right? Now, this is all good, but statistically, I cannot compare just by looking at it whether 
this 94.7 is any better or any worse than this 96.3. They're very close together. It's a 2% deviation out of 10. They will both classify nine correctly. So it might be a little, uh, it might not be very clear how to compare these learners. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to the experimenter in Weka. So I close the Explorer and I open the experimenter. The way the experimenter works is like this. First, I, can set, I need to set up a new experiment. So I'm going to click New here. Okay, and the results of this experiment, I'm going to save it in comparison of learners, for example. And it's going to be a, a file of the, of, ARF, of the ARF kind. Okay, now the experiment is going to be a cross-validation experiment, 10 folds, right? I'm going to do that 10 times. So it's 10 10 fold cross validation runs. The data set that I'm going to compare this, I can compare this in many data sets, but I'm going to choose to compare it in just one data set, which is this, um, it's a CSV. So it's this issues party data set. And the learners I'm going to compare the algorithms are going to be first, I'm going to choose the, um, the decision tree J48 with the default options uh, at the bottom here there's an okay you can't see it on the screen but there's an okay button i'll push that and then the other learner i want to compare is a neural network so i'm going to go here functions multi-layer perceptron and again in this whole screen at the very bottom there's an okay button that i will press uh, let me see if i can move this up and show you guys see there's an okay button now i see in this uh, pane here that I have J48 and multi-layer perceptron and here I have the data. I can I have many more configuration options to do I just want to give you the most basic idea of how to work with this. So now I'm going to run this right and I'm going to start these comparisons and what this does is that it starts the comparison you can see in the status bar it's it's what's doing what is it doing and it starts this comparison and it will save a model of these comparisons, right? It'll save the, the, all the statistics and, the, uh, um, and, and everything, you know, accuracies and errors and all that stuff that it got, right? And then I will be able to do the comparisons and actually make inferences in those, in, in, with those. I'll be able to analyze this. While it's running, okay, while it's running, it will create the, all this information and it will save it in the file that I gave it on the previous tab on the setup tab. So now it finished. For example, there were zero errors. That's a good report. And it's been saved into this file over here. So I'm going to analyze it. To analyze it, I need to open the results file. Comparison of learners. That's the name I gave it. I'll click on open and you can see number one is going to be the J48. Number two is going to be the multi-layer perceptron. I'm going to use pair T tests to compare these things, right? The comparison field will be the percent correct. I can change this. I can look at the error, out percent incorrect, and so on and so forth, right? Now, the key thing here, there's a lot of defaults that you can change, but the key thing here is that I will perform the test. And when I perform the test, what I get is a little bit of a summary of what's happened, and then I get the data set, issues party, and then I get the trees and the neural network one and two and here's one is the trees j48 two is the multi-layer perceptron and it tells me what were the configuration parameters for each one of those because they have many and i see that the uh, accuracy on one was 96.57 and the other one was 94.3 now here's a, something important here i see that i'm going to compare this one here on the right to the one on the left and what I see is that um, if the one on the left, okay, is lower than the one on the right, I will see a V. If it's statistically lower, it's statistically significant. If the one here is higher than the one on the, on the right, I'm going to see a star. So this is the symbol for significantly lower, the symbol for significantly higher. And we can see that there's a star next to this neural network, meaning this value, this value here is significantly higher than this value here statistically using a t-test, meaning that the t-test found that 90, with a 95% probability, 
J48 error or J48's error, J48's precision is higher than the uh, neural network's precision or that the J48 error is lower than the precision, right? But we, we look at precision, so that's higher. You can also add more stuff, right? So you can, for example, add the standard deviations and then if you perform the test, it's the same thing, but now the standard deviations are in, right? So you can see you can see how you compare learners. You can compare multiple learners and they will appear in these columns and they are all compared to the first one, okay? That's something to keep in mind. I hope this gives you a basic idea of what, how to compare learners. Please uh, try and find out as much as you can about this uh, Weka experimenter.